I'm going to show you how to properly navigate the Epson print driver. We're going to be printing an RGB image to the SureColor P5000 printer to a sheet of 1722 Epson Legacy Barita, one of Epson's newer papers. So the first thing we need to do is we need to check that our image size is the size that it should be. And here we have a 20 by 13.33, which is an appropriate size for a 1722 print. So we're going to say OK. Then we're going to navigate up to View. And we're going to go into Proof Setup. We're going to go to Custom. And here we're going to select the correct printer and profile for the paper that we're outputting to. And that would be the P5000 on Legacy Barita Photo Black Ink. Now we want to make sure that black point compensation is turned on, confirm that preview is on, and we're going to select simulate paper color. So now what we're going to do is to toggle between perceptual and relative and see if there's any noticeable difference between these different rendering intents. Rendering intents are part of the color management system that allows the color management system to determine the proper way to deal with colors that could be out of gamut. Relative is basically for images that are mildly out of gamut, whereas perceptual in many cases handles the color management much better for wildly out of gamut colors. So in this particular case, perceptual, relative, I don't see any difference at all. So what I'm going to do is leave it at relative and I'm going to select OK. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go up to File, to Print, and we now have our Print dialog. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Move it up here. So we confirm that uh, we've got our Photoshop manages colors, the SureColor P5000 series printer, with the Legacy Barita with Photo Black Ink is the profile that we've selected. We're going to be sending 16-bit data because if you look up here at the top of the screen, you can see that this is indeed a 16-bit image. And now I'm going to move back up here to Print Settings, and I'm going to confirm that the paper is the correct paper, and this is going to give us a 1722 sheet with maximum borders. And then I'm going to move down to Layout, down to Printer Settings. And I want to confirm that we're going to be manually feeding it. This will not be in the cassette. And the media type is Legacy Barita. And 16-bit output is correct. Now down here, I'm going to leave this at 1440 dpi. And the Super Microweave is best used when it's on by itself and high speed is off. And this would be appropriate for an image that has a lot of very fine detail. This particular image has none of those qualities, so I'm going to turn that off and just leave the high speed on. High speed is an appropriate setting if you've done the bi-directional calibration on your printer. And in this case, I know that our printer has gone through the bi-directional calibration. So we now just say Save. And we're ready to print. Just let me go over and make sure that everything is correct. Relative, black point compensation is on. Center means that we've centered it in the piece of paper. Now down here, I'm just going to mention this because once in a while this happens. You may have set this to 110% for a previous print. And you're noticing that you are not seeing the correct image on your, in terms of size, the correct size of your image on your paper preview here. So very often you may have to scroll down, but you should check this because that should be at 100% and it should represent how that image sits on the paper. So with that all completed, we're going to hit print. And now the data is on its way to the printer.